everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm going to be doing my introduction of the Anne of Green Gables project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies um, <clears throat> project pan. I'll be sure to link them, their Facebook group down below in the description box. This is a project that runs from February 13th to October 9th, 2020 with monthly updates. And I am going to butcher the creator's name, so I do apologize. But this project pan was created by Anna Mimi? Mimi? I, I do apologize. I'm horrible with names. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, there is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven prompts, I believe. <clears throat> So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first one is hair as red as carrot, something red or orange. I picked the shade Pickle. I just dug my fingers all in this palette. But I picked the shade Pickled Carrots. This is what it looks like. It's more of a red toned um, orange for this prompt. And my goal is to use this five times. I'm trying to be very realistic with some of these because I know I don't typically pull for like red eyeshadow so I'm keeping that in mind. The next product our prompt is called broken slate something that is broken or damaged. Um, I'm pulling my Ace Beauty palette in for this and I want to actually try to use up the shade Biscotti here. This palette fell and not only did the mirror break, but some of the shadows broke. Um, there's not a ton left in this pan, so I do believe that is a shade I could use up. <clears throat> the next prompt is Gilbert Blyleth. Something that starts with a G. I searched my collection for this. And this might be cheating a little bit, but I just went with a Glam Light Lip Gloss. This is in the shade S'mores. It's like a chocolatey brown lip gloss. I do want to swatch the shade Biscotti for you guys as well. So just give me one second while I do that. Just so you can have a good idea what I'm going to be working on. <clears throat> Next is some is called Puff Sleeves. Something that's excessive or um, in bulky packaging. I do have a lot of Glam Light palettes, but I wanted to try to not have every item in here be um, an eyeshadow. So I decided to go with my Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter, Loose Ice Highlighter. I can't remember the name of this, but I will swatch it. It's very pretty. I actually have it on today. That is what that looks like, and I my goal for this is to use it 25 times. <clears throat> Next, Green Gables, obviously something green. Um, I want to use my eyeshadow flip from Ciate London. This is a multi-chrome shifting liquid eyeshadow. I've only used this maybe once or twice. But it's like a greeny gold shift to red. Um, my goal is to use this 15 times. <clears throat> Next I have Matthew Cuthbert. Uh, the prompt is something sweet. So I'm going to be focusing on my Kaja lip gloss. And this is in the shade Pink Drink. My goal for this one is to use it up. I've been doing pretty good with lip glosses the last couple months, so I'm going to try to roll this one out. This one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, do that, but I'm going to try to on this one. I'm going to focus on that one. And then last but not least, the Marilia uh, Cut Birth is a cream or liquid product with difficult packaging. 
I don't have a ton of cream products in my collection just because I know how quickly they can dry out and go bad. Um, so I'm actually going to roll in my Kaja um, Cheek Stamp in the shade Saucy. <clears throat> it is very pretty. Um, but this was, and the only reason I would say it has difficult packaging, it's not really difficult. It's just, you know, it's the stamp and then you have to pop it open. Um, my goal for this is to use it 20 times. And that's what it looks like. Um, something that I feel like I can meet pretty, pretty decently. Um, I'm very excited about a lot of these products. I'm excited to get some use out of some shades in my collection and things in my collection that I wouldn't normally reach for. Um, I will say I'm actually using the highlighter, this blush, and this lip gloss today. Um, but this look is not counting towards my usage on these products. So... <clears throat> If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel, and um, I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to participate in this challenge, or this project pan, um, the link will be in the description box for the Fantastic Ladies sign-up sheet, and I'll try to link as many participants um, for this project in the description box as well. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!